Hello there and welcome to Lake Update. Lake Mead water level stands 1,062.38 feet above mean sea level according to information collected by lake levels. This is 3.26 feet higher than where the lake was on this day in 2023, 21 feet higher than where it was in 2022, and 23.3 feet under where the lake was in 2020. Lake Powell water level stands 3,586.67 feet above mean sea level. This is 2.65 feet higher than where the lake was on this day in 2023, 48.22 feet higher than where it was in 2022, and 21.85 feet under where the lake was in 2020. Lake Mead is the largest reservoir in the Colorado River Basin and the United States. The federal government built and operates Lake Mead, which sits in the river's lower basin. In 1936, the Bureau of Reclamation constructed Hoover Dam near Las Vegas, forming the massive reservoir that runs along the Nevada-Arizona border. Lake Mead's purpose is to store and release water for municipal, industrial, power generation, and agricultural purposes. Some of its storage capacity is also designated for flood and sedimentation control. The reservoir's water goes to downstream users in Arizona, California, Nevada, tribal reservations, and Mexico. Lake Mead was the first national recreation area in the U.S., and it attracts more than 9 million visitors each year. It was named after Elwood Mead, the Bureau of Reclamation Commissioner, when the reservoir was formed. At full capacity, Lake Mead's water elevation is 1,229 feet above sea level, and it stores 28.9 million acre-feet of water. That's enough to cover Pennsylvania in one foot of water. At 950 feet, the reservoir hits its minimum power pool and can no longer generate hydroelectric power. At this elevation, it stores 4.55 million acre-feet of water. At 895 feet, it hits its dead pool. About 2.55 million acre-feet of water is still in the reservoir but its elevation is too low to pass through the dam's intake valves. Lake Powell is one of two massive water storage reservoirs for the Colorado River Basin, which provides water for 40 million people in the west. The reservoir was formed by Glen Canyon Dam in northern Arizona, and its waters extend northeast into southern Utah. The reservoir collects water from Colorado, New Mexico, Utah, Wyoming, part of Arizona, and tribal reservations in the Colorado River's upper basin. The upper basin dam releases water downstream to lower basin states Arizona, California, and Nevada more than 20 Native American tribes and Mexico. Glen Canyon Power Plant also generates hydroelectricity, and the Glen Canyon National Recreation Area attracts about 3 million people annually, which helps bolster local economies. Lake Powell and a downstream reservoir, Lake Mead, can store up to 53.9 million acre-feet of water, or about 92% of the reservoir storage capacity in the entire Colorado River Basin. The basin's total capacity is 58.48 million acre-feet. One acre-foot supports two families of four to five people for one year. The reservoir is named after John Wesley Powell, who successfully navigated the first expedition down the Colorado River through the Grand Canyon in 1869. Lake Powell and Colorado are connected by the Colorado River, which begins in Rocky Mountain National Park near Kremlin. Colorado River water reaches every corner of the state. In fact, Coloradans rely on its water for drinking, municipal, agricultural, industrial, recreational, and environmental purposes, Hydropower production revenues from Glen Canyon Dam help fund Endangered Species Act programs in Colorado. Colorado and other upper basin states are also tied to the Colorado River by a 1922 interstate compact, court decisions and decrees, federal laws, regulations, and other legal agreements established over the last century. Collectively, this law of the river establishes how the Colorado River's water is shared in emergency situations like those seen in 2021 and 2022. Certain Colorado dams may be required to send additional water to Lake Powell. These upstream dams include Crystal Dam, Blue Mesa Dam, and Marrow Point Dam, which form the Aspinall unit located along the Gunnison River in Colorado. 
These dams are part of the federally operated Colorado River Storage Project authorized in 1956, which also includes Flaming Gorge Dam in Utah and Navajo Dam in New Mexico. Sometimes referred to as the bathtub ring, the white ring is caused by the calcium carbonate and other hard minerals in the water that attach to the sandstone walls of the reservoirs. The top of the ring indicates the high water mark. Visitors can see such a large ring because the water levels in Lake Powell and Lake Mead have declined over the past two decades, reaching historic lows in the early 2020s. Experts attribute this decline to prolonged drought, a changing climate, and overuse by water users in the basin. Lake Powell's water levels change as a result of environmental factors and how the reservoir is managed. The Colorado River's water supply naturally fluctuates from year to year based on the amount of precipitation, evaporation, the loss of water to leaky infrastructure and dry soils that suck up water. Prolonged drought, increasing temperatures, and a changing climate have thrown off this natural fluctuation and decreased the river's water supply, experts say. Lake Powell's water levels are also impacted by its operations, how it stores water, and releases it to Lake Mead, which were established in a 2007 agreement between states and the federal government. Under these guidelines, the reservoir's levels must be balanced, which means sometimes extra water stored in Lake Powell is released to Lake Mead. In general, reservoirs can act like water savings banks by keeping extra water in wetter than average years. These savings help insulate downstream water users from water shortages in drier years, Colorado's top water agency says the Lower Basin's reliance on Lake Mead and Lake Powell as savings banks has perpetuated overuse and helped deplete both reservoirs. All basin states and tribes are negotiating ways to adapt their water use to the river's changing conditions as concerns about water insecurity increase. Lake Powell and Lake Mead took many years to fill in the first place. They can't recover in one year, experts say. It would take 10 years of average inflows, about 9.6 million acre-feet, and releases, about 8.23 million acre-feet, to fill Lake Powell, according to the Bureau of Reclamation. Even with an above-average water year, the two reservoirs could quickly return to near-crisis conditions like those in June 2022, when the river's system of reservoirs was at 35% total capacity.